This is Farmer Bob. Uh, it's getting time for the uh, getting the animals ready for the fair in February. I know it seems a little early, but we have our initial weigh-in for uh, the market lambs coming up next week. So we like to shear them before they uh, go to the go for their initial weigh-in. So today we're gonna have we're gonna be washing down Nathan here and then shearing them. So we'll let Miss Marilyn start the washing process and we'll turn this brown lamb into a white lamb hopefully before we shear them. <laughs> and you can see it's coming out coming down kind of brown off of them right now. Now, this is one of the things that the kids during the fair have to do in the fitting and grooming competition. They've got to wash and shear their lambs. <laughs> and they tend to get washed themselves as the lamb shakes. But they have to wash and shear their, shear their own lambs in an actual competition of who does the best job. Yes, as you can see, we're, we're, we, don't, we ran out of our uh, show shampoo, so one of the things you can use is... Uh, standard um, hand dish detergent uh, it tends to be mild enough and it doesn't bother the animals and it really works well in cleaning and keeping the wool soft and the key to washing them first before you shear them is that it won't dull the blades okay we've got them finally all soaped up so now we gotta rinse it all off and see what we got underneath. As you can see he's getting a little lighter. It's not going to fully wash out because we don't keep them covered, so they get full of dirt and other things and from laying in the in the stall. Okay, so he's pretty much rinsed off now, and we're going to have to put him out to dry once we're done rinsing here and let him dry for a little bit. Dry, so now it's time to uh, start the shearing process. Um, basically, these are a basic set of handheld. Uh, sheep shears. They're by Premier. Uh, we're using a finer blade so we don't cut them. Uh, the blade guards here. It's got a four cutter head. So, this is the first time he's been sheared, so he's not going to be too thrilled with this.
Normally we would have him in a stand, but since this is his first time, it's a little easier to do it with him standing. Even though it doesn't seem like it is, he's jumping around, he's less likely to get cut or hung up. But as you can see, taking a lot of it down, and he's looking in good shape. He's got good conditioning, and uh, be curious as to see how much he weighs when we do the weigh-in next week. One thing you got to remember when you're shearing is to keep your blades cool and your, your clippers cool and lubricated. Otherwise, they'll start to bind up on you. And they will, they will also burn the lamb and also cause more chances of you cutting the lamb. The, uh, you can see the black stripe here. We, we're drying them tied up to our truck and he sort of decided to crawl under it. problems here is this is still even though we washed them it's still pretty dirty and it's clogging up the clippers more cheek and we're done. We'll leave his little top hat on. <laughs> going around going around the, the neck and face is some of the, the touchiest spots on the lamb. <laughs> they really don't like it. They don't like the noise in their ear. It's not the prettiest shearing, and he wouldn't win anything in show with that kind of look, but he's trimmed down and cleaned up and ready for his first initial weigh-in next week. So we've got to try to do all the sheep here uh, in the next week or so in order to get ready for breeding, but since his is this coming Saturday, we're, we did it early. So until next time, see you later.